So I think the benefit of what Michael's brought to like the educational side of Bitcoin is just this very clear engineering perspective of that you should view money the same way you view any other engineering concept of the idea of a closed system. You know, how can you possibly measure things over time with with integrity, with precision, if, you know, the denominator is constantly in flux? And that's something that, you know, Bitcoin is new before before Michael, but just framing it in that engineering way of these, the idea of an adiabatic system where energy is neither leaving or nor entering a system. Well, now you can kind of conceptualize the point of why a fixed supply money might be useful. And then you kind of go down the rabbit hole of how might you actually achieve that in a way that is sound and can't be corrupted. Because it sounds great in theory, but you know if it's going to fall with a committee of six people who are going to decide that, then you understand that there's, there's risk in that. So yeah, I just really liked the engineering lens he brought to it. How many chairs are you sitting on right now? 